In Leviticus 13, God created WebMD for priests. And as you read it, you have to be impressed with the simplicity and clarity that God lays out for the priest to decisively identify leprosy and keep it from infecting the entire nation. Now bear in mind, there were no doctors, no antibacterial soap. They were in the desert. So if a person had a sore that looked suspicious, they would consult a priest. Now in this chapter, God lays out a simple process so priests could determine what is treatable and what is a deadly contagion. Now later in the chapter, he applies the same process to harmful molds and fabrics. But I think we can also apply this process to spiritually toxic behaviors and influences in our life. Listen to this three-step process. Number one, identify what is toxic. Number two, take it to God and ask Him to show you what can be healed and what won't be healed. And number three, then take the necessary action. Either pray as God does His healing work or isolate it and remove it from your life before it affects other areas of your life, because it will. So that's that. Now, did you see verse 40 and 41? You know God has a sense of humor after reading this. If a man loses his hair and his head becomes bald, he is still ceremonially clean. And if he loses hair on his forehead, he simply has a bald forehead. He is still clean. So there you have it. I'm clean, I just have a receding hairline. I do need to get Pastor John to look at this sore though.